Hey everyone, I am TH Pine and welcome to Beyond Sol. What is Beyond Sol, you ask? I like to call it a Space 4X city builder and it's available in Steam Early Access and this is what it looks like. So, uh, we have this ship, which is you. you. You are this ship. You will only control this ship and nothing else. You can build a city, but you're controlling this ship. You can build more ships than this, but you cannot control them. Well, not directly. You can put them in your fleet and they follow you and stuff. So, we have a map. Stop moving around. We have a map. And uh, this is my kingdom so far, and uh, we, we're in a solar system, as you can see, here's the sun, well, this, yeah, solar system star, I guess. And um, we have uh, other people around, other, other nations, I guess, every nation has one city, and you only have one city, but you can build outposts and mining thingies as well. Uh, let's fly to this distress call, call to, to get into some action right in the beginning, ah, that should be fine. Okay, so we acti activate our NLS drive, which let us jump uh, fairly quickly. This will drain our shield though, but this will regenerate as soon as we get to our location, uh, target location, so that should not be a big deal. Let's toggle off those um, notifications and uh, show you some combat. So there's a distress call, so someone is under attack from pirates probably, so uh, we're gonna help them. Um, if they survive, they will pay us. Uh, if they don't survive, you can salvage them. So it's a win-win, no matter what. Well, except if we die to the pirates, obviously. That would be bad. Uh, so, okay, pirates behind us, according to the radar. So he wants help. Uh, so that, it looked like only three pirate ships. Now the, the radar is disabled because of the freaking nebula. Um, where are they? Okay, can we get out of the nebula a little bit so we have radar again? That would be useful. Okay, I can see him. We could just stick to him. I mean, the pirates will get close, I guess. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> well, that's a great start. There he is, okay. So you control by right-clicking and you can uh, activate or deactivate your thrusters by pressing space or using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Uh, I'm not sure where the pirates are, but I, I'm sure they will show up anytime soon. Well, maybe not. <laughs> so we have two weapons, two weapon systems, uh, plasma bolts, plasma bolts, and homing missiles. Oh, apparently the pirates just went off. Well, good for me, that was some easy money, I guess. Well, let's jump over there then, shall we? Because I want to get some combat. Uh, so the plasma bolts are like your laser cannon, and the homing missile is a missile. Let's see what I expect. Then we have the NLS drive, and we have mining drones, which we can use to salvage things. So that's what our ship can do. Um, you sit along, a lot of the time you're playing this game, you're sitting in those jump sequences uh, where you're waiting for this timer to go down. Um, which is probably one of my biggest criticisms for this game. Um, okay. Uh, I got some shots off. Oh, well, I got shot a little bit already. No, 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 come back here. Uh, let's turn back. To that. Let's take out the, uh, the pirate. It seems to be only one ship. Oh no, it's at least two. Ah, god damn it. And that was that was the biggest complaint I have about the combat system. <laughs> you have to select your target by left clicking it. This game is in real time, there's no pause or anything. This game is always running and um, enemy ships can be fairly fast and fairly small and the hitboxes are not generous. Uh, ge generous. Uh, so from time to time well, not from time to time, fairly often actually, it makes it really hard to to select a target for your weapons, which is probably the biggest complaint I have about the combat system. Besides it's being fairly, well, dull, I guess. Uh, it's not very complicated. Where did they go? Oh, by the way, I did multitasking. I instantly sent a salvage drone to the ship I destroyed. There we go, okay. Oh, it's actually quite a bunch of pirates. I'm not sure if I like that. And the, the main, the biggest issue with that is that it makes it hard to swap targets on the go. And sometimes I just ignore the target, uh, even if it's in range, because I don't want to come back here. Uh, because I don't want to get into, I uh, don't want to try risk clicking on it and then losing, losing the control about like my my original target, and not being able to switch back to it. So sending a salvage drone out there because multitasking um, apparently it was four pirates where did they go where did they go there you could see the click there was very delayed let's send some search drones why not 
Well, because I have to select the asteroid, that's why not. That was maybe a dumb idea because now I have no freaking idea where the pirates are. Come back to me! Wasn't there a distress call here? So they're supposed to attack something. Well, they do. I mean, you can hear shooting. I think they got their target. Yeah, they did. God damn it. So we're too late for that. Well, we can salvage afterwards. There's a lot of stuff to salvage here anyway, so that might be worth sticking around. Okay, let's try to take him out. It's actually, most of the time, easier to take out the big ships because of the missile. Um, the missile is fairly powerful, but uh, really hard to hit the small ships with it. Which makes sense, if you think about it. The blasters have a very short range, unfortunately, but I mean, that makes sense as well. Uh, you don't have ammunition or anything. Your weapons are just based on cooldowns, so don't worry about that. There we go, got him. Is there another pirate somewhere? I don't know. Let's go salvage some stuff. So there's the wreck of the mercenary. No, not the mercenary. The merchant uh, we were supposed to protect. That did not work out, but I mean we can salvage him, so <laughs> we get our pay anyway. And we can salvage the pirates, and there were some asteroids around, so that's all good and dandy. Okay. Uh, you can see some things on the map, so these little triangles are something we can salvage normally, I think. Oh, it might be that shipwreck though. No, oh right, triangles are sh shipwrecks, well, black ones. Red ones are actually ships. I'm not sure there were asteroids. I could mine though. I saw them earlier. We, we can try to find them in a moment. But uh, apparently there was a shipwreck. I couldn't. Oh, there. I guess. Okay, we mined it already because of multitasking. Let's see if we can find those asteroids again. I'm not sure what I could mine from them, but probably something worthwhile. There we go. Are there more of those around? And why do they not show up on the map? I don't know. Okay, got it, got it. Is there another one up there, maybe? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, now let's jump back to our... Uh oh. There's this dress call in our area. Well, let's jump to our city anyway first. There are always distress calls and and uh, shipwrecks and stuff on comets you can, uh, can explore and salvage. You don't have to to go to all of them. Pirate base discovered, okay. So uh, yeah, our ship has shields and a hull, pretty straightforward. Um, energy is basically, when you're in your over light jumpy thingy, then um, faster than the light jumpy thingy, then your energy is low and you can't use weapons and stuff. So that's the idea behind that. And um, then we have uh, here cargo and the fleet maximum. So cargo is for the resources we find. So let's dock in our city. There we go. There should be a docking symbol here. It's, I saw it earlier, but I somehow bugged the game and it just disappeared. But you can dock by pressing the D button. So that's a thing. Um, that's our city. We have a lot of cargo here as well. We should upgrade our cargo thingy uh, or just sell stuff. Let's start with selling stuff. That sounds like a good idea. And switch to the city, switch to 25 and sell. Sell. Sell stuff we don't need. And move everything in the city and sell some more, probably. There we go. Okay. So we have a maximum cargo in the, in the city as well. We, we still want to upgrade um, the cargo thing, probably. Wait, where is it? Uh, that's a storage depot, right? You can actually move the camera while you're in the city, but you cannot um, as long as you're undocked. So, we could either upgrade the storage depot, um, but I think it's more like more gold efficient, well not gold efficient, but money efficient to just buy another one, if I'm not completely mistaken. That gives us 100 extra storage, yeah, it's better to just buy a second one. Uh, I'm not sure what the reason of upgrading is, it might be because you're running out of space at some point, I'm not 100% sure. I did not have that problem, had that problem yet so far. In general, city layout didn't seem to be like... Uh, like that's, there, there, there didn't seem to be like, any purpose to city layout. I just built everything wherever I want uh, because there are no streets or traffic or anything. I don't know. A little weird. So this, we built, we did build this building earlier. Um, well, 
I did before I started recording. It's the Exeter, uh, Exeter Corporation, which is one of the corporations um, you can get ships from or ship upgrades. So we can go to the fleet management. Uh, because we got the Exeter building, we can build the Exeter ships, which is the uh, Medusa or the Chimera. And um, we could do so. Let's let's do that. So we buy one of those. Uh, no, wait, that's not what I wanted. No, I, I didn't. I, oh, I clicked the upgrade button. I don't want to upgrade. I want to buy one. Here, there we go. So we bought a ship. Um, you can see it flying around here. We can put it in a fleet that protects the city, or we can put it in our fleet so it follows us, which is a default behavior. And then we could upgrade our plasma bolt. Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. We cannot upgrade the missile because we need the um, the Tekla Corporation building for it. We could maybe build it, but first we're running out of population, so let's build another population center over here to the other population centers. Wait, why can I not build it here? Oh yeah, okay, so you're running out of city space at some point, apparently. So that's good to know. So it makes sense to upgrade the buildings at some point. Well, not quite yet. So we could uh, build the Tekla Corporation. We need a little bit more titanium for that. We can buy that from the community market. So that should not be a big deal. There we go. Uh, Tekla Corp. Let's put it over here. Next to the Exit to Corporation. Because why not? And now we could... Do other stuff like uh, upgrading our missile system. I'm not sure I'd want to do that though. No, it's way too expensive, and the missile is not that important anyway. The laser is way more important. We could we could get Tekla ships now as well, but we don't we don't have the money for it. Like maybe we could sell stuff, but it makes more sense to undock now and uh, go over here, for example. Did I undock? I probably didn't. No, I did not. Press D. Uh, wait for the. Undocking sequence to complete. Press J for the NLS drive and jump. And now you can see that the other ship I just bought will uh, support us, fly with us. And if we're getting in a fight, uh, it will fight for us. We cannot control it though, it will just fight on its own. Um, and it dies fairly quickly. Uh, apparently, the fleet maximum is not the number of ships, it's like a, depending on the size of the ships as well, I guess. Because we have three of, out of six fleet already, uh, with only having one additional ship. So. <laughs> It's a little weird. Let's salvage that stuff. And then I show you, um, well, expandation, I guess. So you can see those those territories belong to me. That's because I built uh, radar, radar stations or mining stations in them. Um, we could fly here, for example. That sounds like a good idea. Wait, do I have the resources for that? Let me check that first. I want to build a mining station there. No, we don't. Um, then screw that idea and fly back to the city and sell some stuff. So there's our city. Doop -doop -doop. You can only only buy and sell stuff while you're docked in a city. Not necessarily not necessarily your city. You can do trading as well by flying to other cities if they're not um well, if they're not attacking you, that is. So, uh, what did we want to do? We wanted to sell stuff. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, what do we need for the mining station? We need uh, 10 titanium and 10 osanium, osmium, apparently. So, we can sell some stuff. How much money do we need? 6,000. We have that already. Okay, fine. Good. Then, oops, wrong buttons. I'm pressing wrong buttons. There we go. We fly over there. Jump. There we go. <laughs> Press it one too many times. Apparently. And then we will build a mining station there, which will expand our territory. Uh, you can build defensive structures as well, like laser turrets and shield generators and stuff like that, because you will get attacked at some point, either by pirates or maybe by other, uh, well, cities as well, or nations or whatever. I'm not sure what they're called. The, the, the story of the game, by the way, is that the humans found a way to live forever. Uh, well, not forever, but at least way longer. I'm not sure. Maybe it was forever. No, they did not age anymore. I think that was the wording. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. What am I doing? <laughs> there we go. Mining station. Now we have a mining station. Now you can see that this territory is blue as well and belongs to my thing. You have to build an adjacent territories. For example, we could go there now. 
and build a radar station, which creates some money for us uh, to just con connect our area, basically. And um, so, uh, yeah, people stopped aging, which means we get overpopulation really fast. So people reached out to space, and um, yeah, the, that's that's where we are now. So, why am I pressing M all the time? God damn it! I want to build a radar st radar station. So let's go there. You have to fly to the middle or the center of the of the sector in order to build something there. Oh, I don't have enough money. Um, yeah, could have figured that. Oh no, I'll put on attack. Woo, jump. That's not good. Okay, uh, okay, we're getting in a fight. Okay, it seems like pirates are starting to attack me now, which is unfortunate. So we should probably build some defenses anytime soon. And maybe build, buy more ships and set them up as a fleet to protect my buildings or my my area. Hey pirates! Oh, that's a lot of at least four. That's not not. I cannot click them. That's what I was talking about earlier. The outpost is almost destroyed. I trying to click them. Oh damn it! I clicked again. Okay, got one locked. Okay, I'm not sure where my friendly ship is. It seems to be over there to the right. Oh, I take a lot of damage. Uh, I might have to get out of here, actually. Yeah, it looks like I have to. God damn it. Well, maybe we can get our shields up. Let's see. I don't want to lose my outpost. Oh, that was a useless use of lasers. There are three more ships, though. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Now, I think we're... Okay, got that one. Not sure if I can get my shield back in time. There we go, shield is recharging. So maybe we can do this anyway. If we can lock on the target, that is. Unfortunately, we missed the missile. Okay, it's only one left though. It seems like we're actually winning this. And it seems like neither my outpost nor my other ship got destroyed so far, so that's good news. Let's hope it stays or keeps. Like, let's try to keep it that way. Nice. Okay, cool. So, outpost is still alive. Other ship is still alive, kind of. So, okay. Let's salvage those pirates. And then maybe build some defense. That sounds like a good idea. Oh god damn it, they're attacking another outpost as well. Well, fuck my life. Oh, I already salvaged it, apparently. Um, okay, so we can build some defenses. We don't have the money for it, though. Well, I guess we jump to the city then. Try to repair our ship. And then fend off the other attack. Hopefully we're not too late for that, but I have a bad feeling about it. Okay, we got price drops on titanium. Come on. Dog. And repair. I hope it repairs the other ship as well. Undock. Oh, uh, sure, the other ship doesn't seem to be repairing. Wait, then let's dock again and go to the fleet management. We lost that outpost, never mind. So we, we're not in a hassle anymore. Uh, now ship out of that fleet thingy. So can we repair it? Apparently we can't, okay. Well, that, that's the thing that should be added. <laughs> Repairing your ships would be cool. So anyway. Um, yeah, there's one more. Th well, let's, let's fly to another city. And then wrap up the video, actually. And I will give you some final thoughts on it. Jump. So yeah, the game is in early access, so it's not complete yet. Um, there are more like more ship types um, in development and stuff like that. You can play this in single player with AI or in multiplayer with other other people. Um, they have to connect through AI, uh, through IP though, so it has to be your friends basically. Um, there's no matchmaking or anything or public service. You have to know the IP of you, the players you're playing with. 
or you want to play with. Um, yeah, maybe I changed that at some point, but right now that's not the case. Okay, let's dock here and then sell them our good. So, okay, so we dock here, that's the city of another nation, basically. And now what we can do here is we can go to the commodity, commodity market as well and sell them our stuff, for example, which we have in the ship. There we go. Um, that will give us some reputation because we are making, well, we're trading with them. And we can use, we have tech again. We can use their buildings, actually, um, to, to buy ships and upgrade stuff. So if I don't have the tech look operation, like see tech, oh, see, no, wait, that's the one I, uh, wait, which one? No, I think I have the Exeter, right? I have both, actually. Um, as you can see, they only have the Tekla, so I can build a t buy the Tekla ships here, for example. So we could buy to do that. And now we have two ships. Um, stuff like that. You can trade with them. Price prices are varying, so it might make sense to make a profit here and there from time to time. Okay, let's try to defend that auto. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I mean, give it a shot. We have two ships, so... Th well, three ships. Two additional ships. So that's kind of helpful. And um, yeah, that's pretty much everything you can do in the game so far. I think at least what I discovered, that I've discovered. You can upgrade. Oh yeah, that I forgot about that. Um, you can upgrade your your city, your main, your control center, and I'm not 100% sure what that does. It, it might make more buildings available, but I think it will only make more upgrades for your buildings available. But I could not afford doing that yet, so I'm not 1% sure. So let's see if we can take out those pirates. Nasty, nasty pirates. You all have to die. Oh, there's no zoom, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, I cannot change zoom level at all. Camera's always fixed on a ship, except when you're docked. Okay, he's down. Oh, come on, hit the missile, please. Yes, sweet. That means he's down. Oh, God damn it! Fight off the missile anyway. Oh, I cannot click them! <laughs> That's so stupid! Oh, damn it, now I left clicked accidentally and lost focus on the target. Ah! Clicked one too many times. Okay. I think we got this there. There we go. And there we go, outpost defended. So there's one more weird thing about this game. Um, we actually jump out of the game to demonstrate that. So uh, jump out. It will automatically save. There are no safe games or anything. It will just save the game as soon as you leave. Um, as you can see here, there's single player and by P. Well, there are two more weird things. One of the weird things is there's no option menu. Uh, I hope they will add that at some point, but right now there's no option menu. You get the pre, the Unity pre-game option menu before you start a game, like the launcher thingy where you can select resolution, uh, window, and uh, full screen. The actually, um, that's actually a plus. The full screen works on your secondary monitor if you set it up. If you select it, which doesn't work for most games, so thumbs up for that. That's cool, but there's no borderless window mode. Uh, there are proper resolution options, though. There are, like, multiple presets for graphics, and that's it, I think. So, uh, that's there for the option menu. I hope they add a proper option menu later on. Uh, if you go to single player, you have multiple profiles, or you can create multiple profiles, profiles, and that's actually important because your profile is permanent. So if I upgrade my ship in one game, and games are basically solar systems, so I have two solar systems here, as you can see, um, then uh, this will, this, I will keep that upgrade if I go into a new solar system or a different one. So uh, I have the same ship upgrades in both of those solar systems with that player, and I think I can actually um, create a new player for example, and go into the same solar systems. I'm not actually 100% sure what happens. Let's actually try that. Uh, do I play the same city or do I play a new city? I probably play a new city. I wonder what happens to my old city then though. Is that controlled by AI? Yeah, we have a new city. So let's let's actually figure out what, what here is because that's my old city. I guess it's either AI controlled or it doesn't control at all. Like, it's just there. Curious about that. I did not try that. I didn't thought of that. Um, but yeah, it's a little little strange concept. 
basically you can have multiple players, well, not simultaneously, <laughs> in the same game. Well, you can, but only by IP. Uh, but you can control multiple players in the game, but not simultaneously, so... Uh, that's a little weird. I don't know. I'm Overall, I don't really know what I ha should think about that game. It's... It's really hard to describe. It's a really unique concept, which I which I like because I, I like if if games are like use uncommon mechanics and setups and stuff like that. But it doesn't really, it doesn't really, it's it, it's not too much fun to me, which might be uh, a personal preference. Though I cannot really, well, I cannot really tell why exactly it is. The combat is just pretty dull. I think that's one of the main reasons. So yeah, here's my my city. Apparently, it's completely. Uh, I'm protected, <laughs> so <laughs> that's less than brilliant. Well, we can go here and go to the community market and stuff. Oh, there are no resources there. Well, I don't have res no. Hmm. No, the, the city doesn't have resources for some reason. Uh, it, it should have, but it doesn't. Okay, so apparently you can go to the city of your own player, basically, but you can only interact on a basic level, I guess. Uh, so. That's a little strange to say the least. But anyway, I think that wraps up the video. So as I said, I, I it's I find the game pretty weird. Uh, if I would be you, I would actually just wait for release. If, if you're interested in it in general, I would wait for release and see how they wh where they go, like which route they take. What is the focus of the game? Uh, what will be there implemented? Will it be finished at all? Because that's actually a problem with early access games they not necessarily getting finished so I would just wait for the release to be honest uh, it's a little like <laughs> yeah um, see what they make out of this and if they actually finish it I, I hope they do because it's always bad to have unfinished games sold to people that's always a shitty thing to do so I hope they finish it and um, yeah it might be an interesting game to you I don't think it's my cup of tea but that's personal preference it's just, the, I think they have to improve the combat, as I said. Uh, so an auto-target system, or like a target system with hotkeys, maybe target the next, the, the nearest enemy would be good. Then a more interesting interesting combat in general would be cool. Um, I mean, you get more weapons and stuff later, I think, or other weapons at least, so that might make it a little bit more interesting, but it's still pretty straightforward because you're only controlling that one ship. However, the game is in real time, so that, which makes it hard to p control multiple ships at the same time, but uh, still, I don't know. It's, the, the combat is very, very straightforward right now, and it's really hard to use because of the selecting targets mechanic, which is just dumb. But, I mean, that's easy to fix, so <laughs> yeah, that's not a big issue, actually, if they if they address it. That is the thing, though. Um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, that's Beyond Soul. I'm THPion. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun, and see you next time.